Could you raise your hand if you have seven, uh, seven vertices? Hands up. A few people. Who's got more than seven? Has anyone got fewer than seven? Seven's like our bottom number? Yeah, okay. Now, we can definitely represent this with seven. I'm going to put ones on, sorry, I'll go back. I'm going to put ones, like sort of see these, like, these junctions here? I think those were a place where a lot of us put um, a, 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 ver a vertex, right? And then you put them along, you put them along, all that kind of thing, which is fine, right? Now remember, these bridges of Konigsberg, these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the bridges are what I'm really focused on. Now, just have a look, for example, suppose, I'm just going to go to this one, it's a bit easier for, this, for you to see. Suppose I put a vertex here and a vertex here, which I think a lot of you have done, right? What's the edge, or where is the edge that joins these? Uh, it's kind of along here, right? Now, this edge is not a bridge, is it? It's not a bridge. So I don't mind putting it there. It's still an accurate representation, but it's actually extra information I don't really need because the bridges are the things that I'm focused on, okay? So I'm actually going to suggest we can do this with way fewer than seven or even eight. I think we can do it with four. Watch. I'm going to get rid of some of these. So um, you may want to do this perhaps in your book because you're probably drawn all over. And I, what I've done is I've like lightened this so it's easier for me to see and hopefully for you to see as well. Sorry, I'm just going to... This might help. Is that any better? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Sorry, I wanted natural light before, but that's not helpful if you can't see. All right, so here's where I'm going to start to put vertices, all right? I think we all know you got this island here in the middle, and then you've got this other island. So we clearly have to go back and forth between the islands, like we're crossing bridges, right? So I've got two so far. I'm suggesting I only need to put two more. Can anyone suggest to me where I might put one? Yeah, where you can Noah? Two middle ones. Two middle ones. Okay, so when you say middle, what do you mean by middle? Can you be more descriptive? The, um, top, middle, bottom. A top in the middle and bottom in the middle. Okay, now I'm up to four, which is much fewer than many of the other you guys had, but I think if you follow with me and maybe draw this along with me, I think we can represent every bridge using just these four vertices. Let's give it a go. Uh, let's start with the first two vertices that we drew. So there's a bridge between them, right? So it goes like that, okay? Remember, because I'm just caring about how you cross the bridges, I don't care like where in this island I am. I don't care if I'm at the top or the bottom. I just care that I'm on the island. Is that all right? Cool. So I've got that middle one. One bridge down, six to go, okay? How am I going to get the rest of them on there? Well, some of them are easy to see. Like I can go from this island here, and then I can go from the same island up, like that. Now just staying with this guy, I've got three bridges coming out of it. How many more bridges have I got left just from that particular vertex? Yeah. Do I have one more? Which one? Is there another one? There are two, aren't there? One goes up, one goes down. Okay, so I'm going to draw this one over here. Oops, sorry, wrong tool. Sort of drew, goes all the way up to here. Now a lot of we us drew an extra vertex here, but do you see it? doesn't really need to be there because you're still going to cross that bridge. All the information is captured, okay? Uh, and then where was the last bridge from this guy? It's down the bottom, right? So it goes down. Okay, so so far I've got uh, five of my bridges counted for, so I just need to do the other two. Do you see? So I'm just going to do this all the way up here and all the way down there. Okay, so this is better, right? This is much better. I've got um, much less information on there, and so I can focus on what's important. Maybe we should give these guys some names. So I'm going to call these guys. Let's all start from the same spot. So this one seems to have the most, so I'm going to call this guy A. Let's call the top one B, and we'll just go around in a clockwise direction. A, B, C, and D. So can you see that? Yep. Now, uh, you can see how my edges, they all sort of wiggle around and all that kind of thing, right? But we don't really care whether they go up and down and all about. We just care which vertices they join, right? So I think we can draw an even simpler version of this where all we focus on is A, B, C, and D. So I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to draw these big red dots again. Like so. And what I'm going to ask you to focus on as you recreate this is, and I'm going to give you a minute to do this, from A, how many edges come out from it? From B, how many edges from C, from D? And don't worry about how they wiggle up and down. Don't worry about the geography. Just worry about what's connected to what. So for example, I'm going to go and just draw a straight line 
like that. That's one of the bridges from A to B, right? And I don't care that it wiggles around, I just care that it joins those two. Can you finish the diagram for me? You can make it bigger or smaller, it's up to you. Does that look roughly similar, comparable to what you've got? Let me make it a bit bigger, there you go. So I've got my four vertices. Have I got the right number of bridges, the right number of edges? You can count them up, right? I go two, four, six, seven. It's all there, okay? Now, you guys all had trouble. Like, all 20 of us gave this a go, and we could not work out a solution. Here's what I'm gonna ask you to experiment with now, and I'm actually gonna ask you, we're all gonna do something a bit different, okay, which is gonna be challenging, okay? I want you to come up with your own network, any network you like, just to make it reasonably consistent, I'm gonna ask you to either have four, or just to keep things interesting, if the person next to you is using four, can you use five vertices, so go A, B, C, D, E. Draw the vertices any way you like, join them in as many ways as you like, or as few, okay? And then, of the network that you draw, I want you to ask the same question, right? So don't draw the same one, I want you to draw a different one, either four or five vertices, just something different to the person sitting next to you. Put as many or as few edges as you like, and then see if you can cross all the bridges without crossing any of them twice. What I expect is, some of us will create networks where it doesn't work, like this. Other of us will create networks where it does work. You're like, oh cool, here's the path, bang, 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 I'm finished, okay? Then, I'm gonna give you about 10 minutes to do this. Then we're gonna draw them all up and we're gonna try and work out, is there a pattern? If yours worked, why did it work? And if yours didn't work, can we try and see is there some common feature between them? Does that make sense? So, either four or five vertices, just draw them on your page, draw them as big or as small as you like, join them together. Once you've drawn a network map, any network diagram you like, I want you to see if you can answer this same question, okay?